and butthead. Hey, hey, John here. Welcome back to the Super Awesome Geek Show. We're in the toy room and we're about to take a look at the new Transformers the Movie Thundercracker retro style action figure. This is kind of a copy of the original retro Thundercracker, but with different colors and obviously new packaging that's supposed to reflect the movie from 1984. The universe is threatened by the great, the greatest villain Cybertron has ever known. The heroic Autobots must find a way to destroy the menace if they hope to save their home world till all are one. <laughs> That's what it says. Great est villain. <laughs> Here's the packaging, what's inside, and I've pulled everything out, including the inserts and the instructions. And uh, it's got, you know, plastic-free packaging. We got a couple of wings here. We got some tail fins, black and blue. We got some fists here. Megatron's as a gun. A couple pieces there, these fit together. That's pretty cool. I like this accessory. That's pretty cool. The uh, weapons and missiles, these missiles are way too long. They shouldn't be that long. And we got the wheel. The wheel looks the same as the original wheel back from back in the day. So, and here's the figure itself. Still metal on the chest parts and uh, plastic everywhere else. The arms feel very chintzy. The head is extremely chintzy. This rubber tip is just wrong um, it doesn't even line up correctly and it feels very odd it doesn't feel like the original at all this plastic is but this this is metal this is still pretty good It's die cast but they, look at these legs they bend they actually bend those feel about the same as the original the feet but the legs the legs are totally different plastic and they feel very strange, very chintzy, very cheesy. Um, this, this, isn't, this isn't what I expected. I, I, I don't think I'm going to open any more of these. I, if they do a sky warp, I'm going to buy it, but I don't think I'm going to open it. Um, he's got a little peg here. Looks like maybe for the gun to stick to. We'll see. The fists feel the same as the originals, so they feel the same plastic. The cockpit feels the same. The wheel feels the same. So um, there's some parts of this that feel the same, but other parts feel like really cheesy. This feels about the same. These tail fins, they go on pretty good. I opened this up because I don't own a vintage original Thundercracker and thought that this would be a good one to put in its place, but after having it open, I'm not. I still want a vintage um, Thundercracker because this does not hold a candle to the original. <laughs> as far as quality goes, it looks the same minus the color variation. This is a lot lighter blue. But um, it definitely doesn't feel the same. So, um, yeah, there's, there's some small issues with this. Okay, here we go. He's all in, put together now. It's all put together now. Put together now. There's no stickers to add on to this, which I... I feel like there should be some stickers to add on to this. Um, some stickers should go in the parts that are sticking up next to his head. Um, there should be stickers in the feet and some other stickers that go around the legs and spots. But uh, they didn't include those with this. Probably because they're trying to be more movie accurate. They want it to be looking more like the movie itself I guess so they're going with movie colors and movie deco I guess you could say I mean he's not too bad overall but 
I just think compared to the original, he's a little lacking. Megatron is a gun. This looks really cool. This is an awesome accessory. It's a very nice, solid plastic. Done really, really well. I couldn't figure out what the clip was on it. Um, they, they don't. It doesn't come apart. I was hoping you could kind of pull it apart, but it doesn't really come apart as far as the barrel coming off. But you can put it in his hand like this, and uh, the top part goes into the fist, and the bottom goes onto that clip that we saw hanging from the fist down below. But he looks pretty cool, I think, in this form uh, with Megatron in his hand. I wonder if I could make it work for my vintage Star Scream or something. That would be cool. Now if we take these off, we can transform them into jet mode. We'll do that. Um, go through the transformation here. Take that wheel out. Like I said, the wheel is um, very much like the original. So if you're missing a wheel, this, this would be a good way to get it, I guess. <laughs> it's probably you know cheaper to buy a, this figure and have the and get that wheel for one of your vintage ones than it is to buy a vintage wheel because i've seen them go for as much as fifty dollars in the secondary market in places so um i think this was around thirty dollars retail it was a couple weeks ago when i bought it i'm just finally doing the video so I've kind of lost track of what I paid for this. Sorry. I think it was around 30 Maybe it's 35 but I, I think it was around $30. I got the Starscream, and now I have the Thundercracker here. And uh, like I said, I would buy Skywarp if they do one just to have the three jets. But uh, I don't think I would open any more of these. I don't really... Look how they're bending. The, the legs are bending when I'm just trying to put these things on. I switched them because of the hole that's on the bottom of that. He does look good in jet mode. I actually kind of like these guys in jet mode more so than in robot mode. They're, they're pretty cool. Um, now, originally in, in jet mode, you'd put these on, but they go all the way through... And in this case, they don't. They made them, they screwed up and made the missiles too long. So they they don't, they don't actually go on there. Yeah, that's a big problem. They've, they really screwed up those missiles. They're not supposed to be that long. Um, so I might just put the, uh, these ones back on and see how that goes. That's a little long as well, isn't it? Yeah, not not quite right. This one doesn't even really click in. Huh. There we go. There we go. All right. Chat mode. Pretty cool. I don't know if I like those on there. I might just leave those off. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at them in jet mode on the roundabout. We'll get this thing going. I guess I have to adjust it a little bit here. Yeah, there we go. Adjust the camera a little bit. We got to fit on there just right. Yeah, he looks a lot better in jet mode than he did in robot mode. I, I'm okay with the colors more in this jet mode than I was when he was in robot mode. I, I, I don't know why, but I do... I think I just like these guys in jet mode. They just look cool. The, the jets look awesome, you know? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool. I like the jet mode. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'm John. I'm out of here. This is about all we can do um, with this guy. Appreciate you guys checking this out with me. Thank you so much. 
I uh, hope you hope you got something out of this that will help you out in your decision making if you really want to get one of these or not. And um, we'll see you guys on the next one. Stay awesome out there, everybody. Know that you are appreciated, and I will see you guys all on the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. See ya. Till all are one.